Look up in the sky. That's where you could soon see two new cell towers in Roanoke. 10 News reporter Arisha Jones is live to tell us where they'll be and what neighbors are saying about them. Arisha. Well, Lindsay, one of those cell towers will be here at Fallon Park. Now, the Board of Zoning Appeals approved a special exception to build a 90 foot cell tower. This is the rendering of the cell tower in Fallon Park proposed by Milestone Communications. The tower will be along a tree line near the northeast corner of the park. For now, Chantel Telecommunications will be the tenant serving the wireless needs of the area. Another tower across town at Preston Park was also approved by the zoning board last month. George Dalton lives close by. As a former volunteer with the Danville Fire and Rescue, he understands the need for cell towers. You have to have cell service everywhere, whether you're in an emergency situation or just if you're in a uh, position that you don't have any service and you need to make an emergency call or you don't, you know, call a family member. The applications for both towers states that it will provide the latest wireless technology for schools in the area, those living in adjacent residential areas, and those traveling on nearby roads. Despite numerous meetings, Dalton says many still have not heard about the towers, and he's not opposed to one across from where he lives. Well, if it's to help uh, education and communication, I'm all for it. Right now, both towers will be standard steel poles instead of a monopine a pole disguised as a pine tree. Whatever's going to make it more effective is the way they need to go with, whether it's the pole or a tree. I was able to get a comment late this afternoon from Milestone Communications, and they tell me the next step in the process is to get a site plan and building permit review. They, both, they plan to have both towers constructed by the end of the year. Live in Roanoke, Arisha Jones, 10 News, working for you.